Hello everyone. So in this episode of uh, object inspection system in Unreal Engine, I am going to show you how to add dynamically add a depth of field like this. So when I equip this object, there will be a depth of field effect below behind this object so that I can focus on this object I am inspecting and everything else will be blurred like this. So and that's the part I am covering today. So this episode is also sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, so now that I can click on this and they will be here. So the next thing I want to do is blur in the background. So to do that, so how can I do that in the runtime? So first we have a post process volume here. Just to test to what are the values I need to change. Let's play the game and equip one. And now here, what should be the values? okay you can see in the very distance in far uh, the sky is blurred but not yet in close range what if I increase this no no as I can see when I reduce this number dip per kilometer for fifty percent let's try this like okay okay too much I think this value would work about three. Okay, and now let's reduce this. Okay, finally, these values work for focal distance 30 and for depth blur 0 0.03 and depth blur radius 100. Um, yeah, 100 works. Okay, so let's use these values. I'll take a snip of them for later use. right now I have saved them okay and now let's pause the game so how do we assign these post process values dynamically so to do that let me open this inspectable object and here How to add let's create a function toggle tof this function is inside the trophy so post process let's see camera Get camera get player camera manager get camera
now for this we need a reference to our post process volume in the map so all right um, let's do it like this here i'll add ep volume i'll make it public and i'll call it post process volume object reference right now here I can assign it like this then get the post process volume set post Set settings okay Mac post process settings uh, but if I do it like this then I maybe I'll have to set all the settings as I have in the map post process volume similar here here but uh, I don't want to do that so because I need to keep existing other post process settings same as before so I'll get post process settings and instead of making I'll do set members and post process settings so what I want to change is Lens depth of field, focal distance, this one and this one. Okay, so now here I'll add an input like this enable, disable. If this is true, that means enable this. If this is false, enable, disable the depth of field branch oh, no need of no need to have a branch so oh we need to have a branch yeah that's easy if this is true then let's do this the values I need are this 30, 0 0.03 and 100 30.03 and 100 and set if it is false then actually I don't have any depth of field there so I'll leave it as 0 compile oh compile oh actually here the depth blur for 50 kilo 50 percent the default value is one so i'll make this one one okay now when i in the on clicked action here toggle dof I'll enable it and here toggle to I'll disable it when I cancel that means I'm putting back that object I got for inspection all right shall we see if this works
Yeah, it is working. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is add in some text here so that um, we can see details about this object we just tick uh, inspecting and I'll stop this episode at this point so I will be sharing the project files of this uh, system through my patron page and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye